Absolutely. Well, normally I feel totally on the ball, but today I must say I feel totally squashed because I am the unfittest person in the room, and I'm sure you figured out that I'm obviously with squash champion Rithik Vajracharya. Rithik, thank you so much for joining us, thank and obviously you. today is such a special day for all of us at NDTV and across all across the nation. So tell us exactly why is this so special to you as well? Why is NDTV's campaign today so special to you? Well, I think it's uh, about time that someone did something about sports. All the kids who are training so hard in sport, and uh, just people should be aware of how hard they are working. And also, I think a lot of awareness needs to come to sport in general, the benefits of it, how the kids are, need to be playing a lot of sport every day, and they're not doing that. You know, there's there's so much focus on studies and uh, pressure and to do well in your career that they're forgetting very important aspects of your life, which is to play. Squash and to play other sports and football and swimming and just be outdoors. It's healthy. It's uh, fun and they learn a lot through it. You know. And obviously, you know, you you're not surrounded by kids like that yourself. You're surrounded by kids who you were saying you have so much respect for because they actually come in here every day. They train for like an hour or so. Tell us about what you've actually learned from these kids, Rupi. Well, it's funny. I mean, I've learned so much because uh, when you teach someone, it's like you learn a lot more about yeah. your own game. Absolutely. And these kids are phenomenal. I mean, they're more talented than I was when I was. Well, there are some eight and nine-year-old kids who are hitting the ball better, who are moving and who understand the game so much. So I mean, it's eight, nine-year-old kids who are training hard, who are training two hours a day, at least, and in tournament times or before tournament, they're training like morning, evening. I'm sure they, they they can't even go back home, eat food, and they go to sleep. You know, yeah, so it's yeah. like really exhausting for them. Yeah, and and talking about that, well, you can actually see a lot of the kids are actually uh, training at the moment, and of course, there are going to be plenty of workshops through the day. Uh, we have some really, really. Tiny kids, actually, it's quite impressive. My gosh, look at that! That was pretty powerful, I have to say. So we really do actually have a lot to learn from these kids. Uh, Ritwik, uh, tell us a little bit about the kind of uh, age group. I mean, we're seeing some really, really young kids. So how young really do your students go from? Well, we normally used to only start kids around nine, yeah. around nine, because in the under nine category now we have seven and eight year old kids as well yeah. in the nationals, and uh, so. I've never really trained anyone lower than seven years of age. So seven is when I generally start working with the kids over here at the camp, and it's phenomenal. They are so receptive and they're so open. And you know, as you get older, you learn uh, better habits. I mean, worse habits. Yeah. So it's 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 awesome to work with these kids and just give them the right technique and the right structure, which is really lacking in our country because no one's really telling us who's playing well, who's playing, uh, you know, how to play well, what is the right way to hit the ball, in, and not only in squash and everything else. Going back to my school days. We were told, but it was a very amateur method yeah. of training where it can be much more professional. Yeah, absolutely, and that's really the whole point of today's thing is that you know, obviously, sports is given the kind of due that it's required. And for all the parents perhaps out there who are wondering, you know, how does my child really like combine academics and sports? Well, let's go across to some of the kids who are actually doing that right now. Uh, all you guys are like in your 10th and 12th and stuff like that, right? How do you actually manage to juggle both? Um, it's about. How you go about the process because unless you really want to be good at both sports and academics, it's very hard to strike a balance between the two. So what most of us do is that we compromise on you know the extra bit of social life, but we're not completely apart from our friends. We still have that basic connection with them, but we do compromise and come and train and work harder. So we find it. It's not that hard to manage. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm sure a lot of people out there will be really happy to hear that. And obviously, it's not all about all talk. So I'm going to stop talking. It's all about the action. So we're going to get let Ritwik carry on with the workshops of the day. So Ritwik, it's over to you. And we have a lot of stuff lined up for today. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. And uh, we're basically doing a proper camp for the, yeah. these three hours and. Just taking the kids through the paces, just to show you what kind of work they're doing every day, and you know just how exciting it is, and how much fun it should be, Absolutely. as opposed to being like a tuition or something like that. This is sports, and it, it has to be fun. Everyone, all of them totally are smiling. Does. Yeah, oh, it totally <laughs> does have to be fun, and maybe I'll pick up some moves as well, create a racket of my own. Okay, back to you in the studio. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.